get your best employees to stay and you have a more successful team and a more stable team culture. Yeah, good people like working alongside other good people. People like working in teams and for bosses who share their values. The best employees stay because of how they feel working alongside their colleagues and within the wider business. Your best employees stay because of the relationships and loyalties as much as being in a good working environment where they feel they are progressing and developing. Today we're going through six important ways to get your best employees to stay for as long as possible and these are firstly recruit people who fit the culture. Secondly find out who they want to be and become. Third make sure they are seen and heard and feel valued. Fourth, empower employees to do their jobs well. Fifth, grow employees as individuals as well as professionally. And then sixth, work hard on creating a positive team environment. When you're looking after your employees, they will look after you. When your employees are happy, they will look after your customers. There is a lot that you can do to keep your employees happy and get your best employees to stay. The first way to get your best employees to stay is to recruit people who fit the culture. The team culture and how you feel about working alongside colleagues is more important than having colleagues you feel you can learn from and are great at their jobs. Obviously getting both is even better. When you recruit new staff members into the team they will do a lot better and feel like they belong in the team when they have similar values to the team and enjoy working in a similar team and culture. Research has proven that values alignment and a stronger sense of belonging result in much better performance from team members and they stay longer in that team. These translate into real productivity and profitability improvements and benefits to the individual and the team. During the interview, ask them questions to understand what cultures they excel in and what their values are. Invite your team to meet with the potential new joiners and get their opinions too. Recruit for culture and values as much as technical strengths. The second way to get your best employees to stay is to find out about who they want to be and become. If you don't know about your team members' interests, ambitions and strengths, how can you tailor work and opportunities to match what best suits each team member? Better matching of tasks to strengths nearly always gives you better performance. Team members will be a lot happier when they're playing to their own strengths. Employees will be a lot happier when they're doing work that is helping them reach their ambitions. The happier each team member and the team overall is, the more likely you'll get your best employees to stay, and in fact all your employees, and it'll be a lot more fun while they're actually working in that team as well. A great way to find out is to ask. You know, be interested in your team members. Ask about their hobbies, their interests, their career ambitions. Listen really carefully to what they say and remember it. You know, write up some notes after the meeting if this will help you remember. Then put the knowledge you have gained into practice by matching opportunities and work with interests and strengths. You will have a happier team members and higher team performance as a result. The third way to stop good employees leaving is to make sure they are seen and heard and feel valued. Book in regular one-on-one -on -one meetings with your team. Make the time to pop round to their desks and ask them about their progress. Get them to show you what they have been working on. You know, ask them questions and dig into the detail. Ask them to give their opinions and plans to you. Give them problems to solve, not just tasks. Above all, spend time listening and considering what your team tells you. The more time you spend with your team, the better you'll understand what each team member is doing and be able to praise them and appreciate their good work. Always follow up and spend time with team members with the aim of helping them. Do not micromanage or aim to check up on them. Aim to understand their problems so that you can help remove those problems. Aim to understand what is happening so you can coach and support. Taking this approach will result in you knowing exactly what is happening in your team. Combined with feedback and praise, taking action on their suggestions and helping, you'll have a team that feels you know about them cares about them and are helpful to them. They will also feel valued, listened to and appreciated. A great approach to get all your employees to stay and perform at their best.
My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses teaching you how to be a great manager and build high-performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below, which you will find useful, so do take a look at these. Also, visit us at Enhanced.Training and take a look at our comprehensive courses on getting the best from your teams that you manage. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The fourth way for making it easy for employees to stay is empower them to do their jobs well. Think about how you're going to make your employees feel safe, supported and given permission to take responsibility and ownership of the goals that you've set them. If any of these three factors is missing, employees will not want to be empowered and will not want to take the risks and they have responsibility for owning their work. Empower employees through the frameworks that you create and your decisions, actions and behaviours. Here are six steps or actions to help empower your employees to take the initiative and make decisions to enable them to produce great results. Firstly, communicate and create understanding of the goals that the team is trying to reach. Secondly, define what type and level of decisions will be made by whom. Third, share information openly so everyone can do a great job. Fourth, delegate problems, not tasks where you sensibly can. Fifth, start small and progress to bigger in terms of what you delegate, the problems, etc. And then sixth, resist taking away their responsibility or decisions. Regularly and consistently take these actions without punishing mistakes and your team will feel much more empowered. The more empowered, the more likely you will get your best employees to stay and perform at their best. The fifth way to get your best employees to stay is grow employees as individuals as well as professionally. Look at any survey about why employees stay at their company and development and opportunity to grow are in the top reasons almost always. This is doubly the case when you employ bright staff who you expect to solve problems independently while doing their job. One of the key ways to get good employees to stay is to invest your time and effort into developing their skills and experience. I personally think this is a vital role of any manager and one of the key ways that you can offer a fair exchange for great work from your team. Understand each team member's preferences, interests, strengths and ambitions and try hard to match the work you have available to best suit these. Do this with every team member. Give the better opportunities to the best performing members of the team. Another way to develop employees is to personally mentor and teach them the skills that you have developed in your career. This is a great way to stop good employees leaving and upskilling team members helps your own career development. Another very important factor is higher skilled teams usually produce better results. Work hard to develop your team members. The sixth way to get your best employees to stay is to work hard on creating a positive team environment. There is a lot that goes into creating a positive team environment and encouraging individuals to work together as a team. Here are seven important factors that you should work on. Firstly, create very clear goals and keep communicating these to provide clear direction, permission and psychological safety. Secondly, align your decisions, actions and behaviours to the goals and standards that you have set for your team. Third, provide a lot of feedback to team members and give a lot of praise for good decisions, actions, behaviours and results. Fourth, work hard to remove problems that are impacting the team. And fifth, protect the team from too many changes of direction, low value requests, politics and organisational conflict. Sixth, work hard to develop all your team members. And seventh, spend a lot of time with your team members and promote team working in all the ways that you can. The more positive the team environment, the more likely all employees will want to stay longer. Working in a nice environment with good colleagues that help and support each other is a very big incentive to stay for most people. So in summary, keeping hold of your best staff for as long as possible is a great way to keep improving your team's performance. Increasing team performance is another good reason or a good incentive for um, employees to stay. Success attracts people all by itself. The six ways to get your best employees to stay are firstly recruit people who fit the culture of the team. Secondly, find out who they want to be and become. Third, make sure they are seen and heard and feel valued. Fourth, empower employees to do their jobs well. 
Fifth, grow employees as individuals as well as professionally. And then sixth, work hard on creating a positive team environment. Do put these into action as well as you can and as consistently as you can. If you have any questions on six ways to get your best employees to stay, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.